So my friend John Rieschi, if you can uh, start uh, sharing with us. And I invite the others, uh, the other friends to uh, come up to the podium. Najat, Maya, and Farid. I love the speech, and uh, I think without optimism, you can do nothing. So thank you, Ramzi. Uh, it was important to hear what you had to say. Let me start this testimony by saying that I don't like to describe myself as a warrior. For me, being a warrior might, be, uh, might mean being full of hate and anger and looking for some kind of revenge in life. I don't have this. Maybe the reason I'm not a warrior, or I don't feel like a warrior, is to be found in this Martin Luther King uh, quote, which is, I have to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. I'll give you some background about myself. I. Uh, I have an MSc in management major in finance from HEC Paris and a certificate of corporate governance from INSEAD's International in, uh, Directors Program. This is my academic background. I'm not an intellectual, I'm only a banker. Before coming back to Lebanon, I held several management positions in European banks at a multinational firm. What I can tell you also, what I'm, I'm a member of many uh, organizations, but the one I'm really proud of is being a member of Human Rights Watch Beirut Committee. Uh, I, I like this organization because I hate the way our country uh, treats some weak categories of people such as domestic foreign workers, drug addicts, homosexuals, women subject to domestic violence, etc. <laughs> I founded FFA in 1994, three years before Ramsey started the Lebanon Opportunity. I, it started with four people and one million dollars of capital. In 2007, FFA got a banking license and became a, a FFA private bank. The group, which includes FFA Real Estate, FFA Dubai, which is an investment bank incorporated in the DIFC, has almost $2 billion under management, $42 million in equity, and 120 uh, employees today. So uh, uh, we started with one million. That was uh, the three Fs money, friends, family, and fools. Actually, there were no fools. I was the only fool, I think. <laughs> but it worked. It's also, it, need, it needs some luck to be successful, I think. Uh, FFA is active in uh, capital markets, wealth management, asset management, real estate development, and corporate and investment banking. We also provide traditional banking services, such as loans, deposits, payment services. But we do this only as ancillary services to our primary activities. We are a specialized bank. We recently got an award, Best Private Bank in the Middle East. We're very proud. Uh, but our objective within five years is to get another award, which is to become the best investment bank in the Middle East. And we will achieve it, I think, also uh, by uh, doing deals in Lebanon some might have heard that we are trying to be very active in the sector, in the infrastructure sector. I believe we could have talked about infrastructure because this is where the money uh, uh, can flow to the country. There are billions of dollars ready to be deployed in Lebanon to be invested in the infrastructure. Uh, we need officials to uh, get off this sector, apply the PPP law, which is a beautiful law, 
and uh, try to attract FDIs because remittances uh, uh, did not go down, but FDIs went down a little bit, and this is what explained the uh, liquidity issue that we have had for the recent years, I mean, the, the balance of payment issues. I did not achieve anything by myself, okay? I had the support of the investors, the three Fs, or the two Fs that supported me. Uh, I made sure all along that I was surrounded by smart and enthusiastic professionals. FFA success story is the success of, the, of a team. It's not my success alone. It's the success of people who uh, uh, work together to uh, make this company a great company, first for themselves and then for the community. We share the same vision and more importantly, we share the same values. So what about being a, a business warrior? I don't see professional uh, life as a war. I see it as a journey, a hike in the mountain. Hiking in the mountains is my only passion. Of course, in a hike, you have an objective, a final destination you need to reach. But it, it has to be made of successive stages. I focus on shorter term objectives because if you don't have successive objectives, you get dizzy and dispersed. You cannot, uh, uh, it's very difficult to uh, not have uh, intermediate steps. However, there is always a great deal of uncertainties. As Christopher Columbus said, you can never have the courage to cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. So you go and you don't look back. I always hike with people I love, family or friends. In my professional journey, I also need to be surrounded by people I love and admire. So I love and admire everybody who works at FFA, almost everybody. <laughs> As a leader of the team, my role is to ensure that everybody reaches the final destination safely. But more importantly, that everybody enjoys the journey. I hate, when, I hate it when people are not happy at work. Everyone should be happy to wake up in the morning and come to the office. A culture of fair play and fairness is key in creating a nice and efficient corporate environment. I believe in fair play and fairness. I try myself, I try, to be clear, transparent, unbiased, and authentic with my colleagues, my clients, and all my stakeholders. I dislike people who manipulate others. I also dislike egoistic, pretentious, and arrogant people. The only people I admire are those who care about and take care of the others. I recommend the book. It's a book actually that uh, 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 we distribute to every newcomer, every new employee at FFA. It's called How to Win Friends and Influence Others. It's not about manipulation. Uh, it was written in Dale, uh, by Dale uh, Carnegie in the 1930s. Uh, and it is packed with solid advice to succeed in life and business. There is another book, Who Moved My Cheese? Everyone at FFA also has to read it. It's a funny book that teaches some wisdom. If you are a mouse and are used to get your cheese every day at the same place, expect that some, uh, someday somebody will have moved it. Then. Don't run in circles around the place. Don't try to dig uh, uh, lower to find, it, to find the cheese. Don't sit and complain. Don't cry. The only right thing to do is to look for a new place where cheese is available. Business, a business journey is a difficult journey. I didn't, uh, and I won't talk about business in Lebanon. I don't think it's any different from other places. It's tough, there are a lot of obstacles, there are a lot of changes that take place. You have things different in Lebanon than in other uh, places in the world, but you have also things that are easier than in other places. So I don't think doing business is in Lebanon is different from doing business in other places. 
What we need is to accept change and cope with it. For example, at FFA, our mission has never changed, to serve our clients' investment needs. But the way we do things, the kind of service we, have, we provide, have constantly evolved over time, and every one of us had to adapt. Uh, I have simple ideas that I translate into mottos, and I try to have them become part of FFA's culture. I want to share with you some of these. The first one is, do the right things and do things right. FFA is successful, I think, thanks to its culture of professionalism, which means do the right things. And also its culture of integrity, do things right. Don't cut corners, don't, uh, etc. Especially in our business. You know, it's a business where if you're not, uh, uh, you don't do things with integrity, you're not compliant, with rules, uh, uh, things can, can get very bad. The second motto is, the name of the game is to stay in the game. I love this one. <laughs> Risk management is the DNA of FFA. In our 23 years of ex existence, we weathered so many storms, financial markets, wars, Lebanon, uh, whatever, but we are still alive and growing because we always had in mind that we had to stay in the game. You have crisis, you have difficult times, but you have to be strong enough to overcome them. The third one is keep walking. Okay, we don't drink too, too much whiskey, but I love this sentence. It is my call for courage and perseverance, especially when we have difficult times. Nothing can be achieved without courage and perseverance. Like the hikers, we keep walking, there is no way back. We walk one step at a time, we don't look back, we never give up. And because we know we, we are doing the right things and doing things right, we, we know that we will succeed. I hear many people, it was prepared before uh, I heard the, the, the uh, Ramses presentation. So, I hear many people predicting the worst for Lebanon's economy. I disagree. I'm not saying we won't have some kind of hard landing but we will eventually have a very fast recovery. The Lebanese people are educated, smart, brave. They will see an opportunity in every difficult situation. And I'll finish with this. There is a, a sentence uh, 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 from Winston Churchill, and he knows a lot about difficulties and difficult times. This sentence says, an optimist, an optimist sees an opportunity in every calamity. A pessimist sees a calamity in every opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you.